Rome, Italian and Latin, Roma is the capital of Italy. It is also the capital of the Lazio region, the center of the metropolitan city of Rome, and a special commune called the Commune di Roma Capitale. Rome is the most populous municipality in the country and the third most populous city in the European Union in terms of population within city limits. Rome is located in the central western part of the Italian peninsula, within Lazio, Latium, along the banks of the Tiber. Vatican City, the smallest country in the world, is an independent country within the city limits of Rome, the only existing example of a country within a city. Rome is often referred to as the City of Seven Hills and the Eternal City due to its geographical location. Rome is generally considered the cradle of Western civilization and Christian culture and the center of the Catholic Church. The history of Rome spans 28 centuries. While Roman legend places the foundation of Rome around 753 BC, the site has been inhabited for much longer, making it a major human settlement for nearly 3,000 years and one of the oldest continuously occupied cities in Europe. The city's early population was a mixture of Latins, Etruscans and Sabines. Eventually, the city became the capital of successive Roman empires, the Roman Republic, and the Roman Empire, and is considered by many to be the first imperial city and metropolis. It was first called the Eternal City, Latin, Urbs Eterna, Italian, La Cita Eterna, by the Roman poet Tibullus in the 1st century BC, and was also expressed by Ovid, Virgil and Livy. Rome is also known as Caput Mundi, capital of the world. After the decline of the empire in the West, which ushered in the Middle Ages, Rome gradually came under the political control of the papacy, and in the 8th century, it became the capital of the Papal States, a position it held until the 1870s. Beginning with the Renaissance, nearly all popes since Nicholas V, 1447-1455, pursued a concerted architectural and urban program over 400 years, aiming to make the city the artistic and cultural center of the world. Thus, Rome first became one of the main centers of the Renaissance and then the birthplace of both the Baroque style and Neoclassicism. Famous artists, painters, sculptors and architects made Rome the center of their activity, creating masterpieces throughout the city. In 1871, Rome became the capital of the Empire of Italy, which became the Italian Republic in 1946. Although archaeological evidence of human occupation of the Roman area dating back to about 14,000 years ago has been discovered, a dense layer of much younger debris obscures Paleolithic and Neolithic sites. Evidence of stone tools, pottery and stone weapons attests to human presence dating back nearly 10,000 years. Several excavations support the view that Rome grew out of rural settlements on the Palatine Hill built above the site of the future Roman Forum. Between the end of the Bronze Age and the beginning of the Iron Age, there was a village on each hill between the sea and the Capitoline Hill. On the Capitoline, a village is attested from the late 14th century BC. However, none of them were of civilian standard yet. Nowadays, there is a wide consensus that the city gradually developed through the agglomeration, Senecism, of several villages around the largest village, located above the Palatine. This accumulation was facilitated by the increase in agricultural production which allowed the establishment of secondary and tertiary activities. In turn, trade with the Greek colonies of southern Italy, mainly Ischia and Cumi, was promoted. This development, which according to archaeological evidence took place in the middle of the 8th century BC, can be considered as the birth of the city. Despite recent excavations on the Palatine Hill, the theory that Rome was deliberately founded in the mid-8th century BC, as suggested by the legend of Romulus, remains somewhat speculative. Despite recent excavations on the Palatine Hill, the theory that Rome was deliberately founded in the mid-8th century BC, as suggested by the legend of Romulus, remains somewhat speculative. Traditional stories handed down by the ancient Romans themselves describe their city's earliest history in terms of myth and legend. The most familiar of these myths and perhaps the most famous of all Roman myths is the story of Romulus and Remus, twins nursed by a wolf. To Roman analysts, it happened on April 21, 753 BC. 
This legend had to be combined with a dual tradition, they decide to build a city, but after an argument, Romulus kills his brother, and the city takes his name. According established earlier, in which the Trojan refugee Aeneas fled to Italy and traced the line to the Romans through his son Julius. Julio Claudian family name. This was done by the Roman poet Virgil in the 1st century BC. Also, Strabo mentions an old story, that the city was an Arcadian colony. In 27 BC, Octavian became Princeps Civitatus and assumed the title of Augustus, founding the Principate, a schism between the Princeps and the Senate. During the reign of Nero, two-thirds of the city was destroyed after the Great Fire of Rome, and the persecution of Christians began. In 27 BC, Octavian became Princeps Civitatus and assumed the title of Augustus, founding the Principate, a schism between the Princeps and the Senate. During the reign of Nero, two-thirds of the city was destroyed after the Great Fire of Rome, and the persecution of Christians began. Rome was affirmed as the Caput Mundi, meaning capital of the known world, an expression that had already been used in the Republican era. During its first two centuries, the empire was ruled by the Julio Claudian emperors. The Flavians, who also built an eponymous amphitheater, known as the Colosseum, and the Antonine dynasty. The period was also characterized by the spread of Christianity, preached by Jesus Christ in Judea in the first half of the first century, under Tiberius, and popularized by his apostles through the empire and beyond. The Antonine period is considered the height of the empire, which stretched from the Atlantic to the Euphrates and from Britain to Egypt. The Colosseum at night. After the fall of the Sevian dynasty in 235, the empire entered a 50-year period known as the Crisis of the 3rd century, during which numerous raids were carried out by generals who sought to secure this region of the empire. He tried to make the responsibility he was entrusted with. Weakness of central authority in Rome Rome, which had lost its central role in the administration of the empire, was sacked by the Visigoths under Alaric in 410 but suffered little physical damage, most of which was repaired. What could not be exchanged so easily were portable items such as artwork in precious metals and household goods, loot. Popes adorned the city with large basilicas, such as Santa Maria Maggiore, shared by the emperors. The city's population declined from 440 onwards, due to the loss of grain shipments from North Africa, and the unwillingness of the senatorial class to maintain donations to support a population too large for the available resources. It was more. Nevertheless, strenuous efforts were made to preserve the monumental center, the Palatine, and the largest baths, which continued to function, until the Gothic siege of 537. Constantine's great baths on the Quirinale were also repaired in 443, and the extent of the damage was greatly exaggerated. However, the city took on an overall appearance of disrepair and decay due to depopulation due to large derelict areas. In 1418, the Council of Constance settled the Western Schism, and a Roman Pope, Martin V, was elected. This brought a century of internal peace to Rome, ushering in the Renaissance. The reigning popes from the first half of the 16th century, from Nicholas V, the founder of the Vatican Library, to Pius II, the humanist and literate, to Sixtus IV, a warrior pope, to Alexander VI, immoral and nepotistic, to Julius II, soldiers and patrons, to Leo X, who gave the period its name, century of Leo X, all devoted their energies to the grandeur and beauty of the eternal city, and to the patronage of the arts. During these years, the center of the Italian Renaissance moved from Florence to Rome. Magnificent works, such as the new St. Peter's Basilica, the Sistine Chapel and the Ponte Sisto, the first bridge to be built across the Tiber since antiquity, although built on Roman foundations, were built. To accomplish this, the popes enlisted the best artists of the time, including Michelangelo, Perugino, Raphael, Ghirlandaia, Luca Signorelli, Botticelli and Cosimo Rosselli. Papal rule was interrupted by the short-lived Roman Republic, 1798-1800, which was established under the influence of the French Revolution. 
In June 1800 the Papal States were restored, but under Napoleon Rome was incorporated as a department of the French Empire, first as the Department de Tiber, 1808-1810, and then as the Department of Rome, 1810-1814. After the fall of Napoleon, the Papal States were reconstituted by a decision of the Congress of Vienna of 1814. Rome is on the Tiber, Italian, Tevere River in the Lazio region of central Italy. The original settlement developed on the hills facing the Tiber island at a ford, the only natural river ford in the area. The Rome of the Emperors was built on seven hills, the Aventine Hill, the Calline Hill, the Capitoline Hill, the Esculian Hill, the Palatine Hill, the Quirinal Hill, and the Feminine Hill. Modern Rome is also crossed by another river, the Anion, which flows into the Tiber north of the historic center. Public parks and nature reserves cover a large area in Rome, and the city has the largest area of green space among European capitals. The most notable part of this green space is represented by the large number of villas and landscaped gardens created by the Italian aristocracy. While most parks are enclosed, over the centuries, Rome's architecture has evolved greatly, from ancient Roman architecture to Italian modern and contemporary architecture. Public parks and nature reserves cover a large area in Rome, and the city has the largest area of green space among European capitals. The most notable part of this green space is represented by the large number of villas and landscaped gardens created by the Italian aristocracy. While most parks are enclosed, over the centuries, Rome's architecture has evolved greatly, from ancient Roman architecture to Italian modern and contemporary architecture. During the Roman Empire, in 98 AD, according to the Roman consul Julius Frontinus, who was called Curator Aquarum or Keeper of the City's Waters, Rome had nine aqueducts that fed 39 monumental fountains and 591 public basins, including water was not counted. Provided to owners of imperial houses, baths and private villas. Each of the large fountains was connected to two different waterways, in case one was closed for service. Rome is famous for its statues, but especially the talking statues of Rome. These are usually ancient sculptures that have become popular soapboxes for political and social debate, and places for people to express their opinions, often satirically. There are two main talking statues, Pischino and Marforio, yet there are four other notable statues, Illinois Babuino, Madama Lucrezia, Illinois Ficino, and Abbot Luigi. Most of these sculptures are ancient Roman or classical, and most of them also depict mythological gods, ancient peoples, or mythological figures. Illinois Pischino represents Menelaus, Abbot Luigi is an unknown Roman magistrate, Illinois Babuino is believed to be Silinus, Marforia represents Osinus, Madama Lucrezia is a statue of Isis, and Illinois Ficino is the only non-Roman statue, dated 1580. I was created and do not represent anyone in particular. They are often, because of their status, covered with plaques or graffiti expressing political ideas and viewpoints. Other sculptures in the city, not related to talking statues, include the Ponte Sant'Angelo statue, or the many monuments scattered throughout the city, such as Giordano Bruno's monument in Campo di Fiori. Rome is an important center for music, and has an intense music scene, including several renowned music conservatories and theaters. It hosts the Accademia Nazionale di Santa Cecilia, founded in 1585, for which new concert halls have been built in the new Parco della Musica, one of the largest musical venues in the world. Rome also has an opera house, the Teatro dell'Opera di Roma, as well as many smaller music institutions. The city also hosted the Eurovision Song Contest in 1991 and the MTV Europe Music Awards in 2004. Rome is also widely recognized as the fashion capital of the world. Although not as important as Milan, Rome is the fourth most important center for fashion in the world according to the 2009 Global Language Monitor, after Milan, New York and Paris. Major luxury fashion houses and jewelry chains, such as Valentino, Bulgari, Fendi, Laura Biagiotti, Bruni, and Renato Balestra, are headquartered or founded in the city. 
In addition, other major labels such as Gucci, Chanel, Prada, Dolce and Gabbana, Armani and Versace have luxury boutiques in Rome, primarily along its prestigious and upscale Via di Acondotti. Roman cuisine evolved over centuries and periods of social, cultural and political change. In ancient times, Rome became a major center of gastronomy. Ancient Roman cuisine was heavily influenced by ancient Greek culture, and subsequently, the immense expansion of the empire exposed the Romans to many new, provincial cooking habits and cooking techniques. Testaccio, Rome's commercial and slaughterhouse district, was often referred to as the belly or slaughterhouse of Rome, and was inhabited by butchers or vaccinari. The most common or ancient Roman diet consisted of a fifth quarter. Old-fashioned coda alla vicinara cooked the butcher's way. It is still one of the most popular dishes in the city and is part of the menu of most restaurants in Rome. Lamb is also a very popular part of Roman cuisine and is often roasted with spices and herbs. Rome is a city of echoes, a city of mirages and a city of longing. The city where memories were encased in marble. And if you haven't seen Rome yet, you should definitely make in your hot list. Thank you for your valuable time you have taken to watch this video.